Alright guys, um, we're going to talk about uh, double cut responsibility with uh, nobody on base and this is the classic situation where a ball is hit into the gap or over an outfielder's head and uh, we need two people, uh, basically two cutoff throws to get the ball back into the infield and hopefully uh, to the base in front of uh, the base runner. So, we'll start with nobody on base balls hit over the left fielder's uh, head here. Left fielder is running back to the fence to get the ball. Shortstop, who's the closest to the play, is going to be uh, the first cutoff. Uh, second baseman is going to be the second cutoff because we don't want the left fielder having to make or the shortstop having to make a long throw uh, into third. So we want to get these balls. It looks kind of close on this um, this this diagram, but on a 300-foot fence, it's not very close at all. Um, so you've got the the left fielder, then thrown a short this uh, shortstop to second base, third base, uh, third third baseman will be covering the bag. You're assuming in that scenario that this runner um, easily is going to have uh, a double, um, but just in case, you never quite know what's going on as that uh, as that runner's uh, coming around uh, to to go to second. Uh, you're going to want your first baseman to tag behind, uh, trail behind uh, that runner uh, in the event that there's a cut or again this runner gets off thinking that he's going to get a triple and comes back and starts running back to, to the back here. Well, we've got all of our middle infielders uh, in the, the shallow outfield, so if the first baseman stays over here, then obviously this runner has freedom to run all the way up here and then uh, beat the third baseman uh, back uh, to second base. We want to limit that runner's options by having the first baseman uh, trail behind here. Uh, so if he gets too far uh, off, once he gets to the third baseman, uh, we've got a we've got a play uh, back here. Uh, pitcher should be aligning himself for a play. Again, you're looking to get the ball back uh, in advance of the runner as quickly as you can, uh, and that play is probably going to be uh, along this line, um, this line right here. So let's get everybody back into place. All right, and it's going to be the same thing for for um, uh, ball hit in the gap here. Uh, the same thing with the shortstop uh, uh, going out uh, there as well. Third baseman's going to cover third base. Second baseman's going to be your your, your secondary uh, cut here. And depending on who gets it, center fielder and left fielder, they'll start the rotation um, back, getting the ball um, back into the third baseman. First baseman again is still going to come behind uh, the runner uh, towards second base. Um, this time over the center fielder's head or into the gap here. Uh, typically it's going to be your second baseman that's going to be the, the first cut. Uh, shortstop is going to be uh, lining up as well. Shortstop can help line up the second baseman. So the center fielder goes back to the wall and we start the process of getting the ball back to third base. Um, and again, your first baseman is going to uh, trail that runner over to second base to keep him on a set second base. Uh, we don't want him uh, having a free run at, at third base with no consequences. Um, same thing over here uh, in, in right field. Uh, let me get everybody back into position here. Um, ball's now hit out to the corner um, here. Right fielder's going back to the fence to pick up the ball. Second baseman's now the first cutoff. Shortstop is uh, somewhere near the, near the bag here. Uh, so the second baseman doesn't have to make a too long of a throw. Um, and third baseman can line up uh, the shortstop. Shortstop can line up the second baseman. Uh, and again, you're trying to get the ball from right field into third base as quickly as you can. Got your pitcher uh, covering behind third base. And again, uh, your first baseman is going to be uh, trailing that runner here. Uh, some of that depends on where the shortstop is. If the shortstop's on the back here, he may uh, get a throw right back to him, but generally speaking, your shortstop is probably going to be out toward the edge of uh, the infield, and you still you want your first baseman um, coming behind there to uh, to have some potential coverage at second base if there's a play um, there. So that's how we'll play that. Uh, the final scenario, let me find my pitcher here, is when we've got a runner on first base, and the whole point now is to get the ball home as quickly as possible. You're still looking at uh, the, um, the the same same responsibilities, um, where um, basically the the middle infielder who is closest to the play um, on the left side or in the gap, it's probably going to be your shortstop um, in the gap here to center field or to right field. It's going to be your second baseman. That'll be the first cut. Um, the other middle infielder will come behind it, and let's just pretend that the ball uh, was was hit all the way out here. Uh, and the 
point again is going to be getting everybody lined up uh, to where you've got a line. The pitcher is um, uh, back, back behind here, and the ball is coming in as quickly as you can down to the catcher. Um, again, outfielders uh, looking to get the ball in as quickly as possible. Middle infielders are going to be the chain to get it down to either third base. If uh, there's nobody on, um, you want to keep it, you know, hold that person to a double. Um, or down to home if there's somebody on first base. Uh, if you can get it in quickly enough, uh, the catcher is going to be uh, telling his uh, shortstop or a second baseman where the cut's going to be. Uh, and if there happens to be another play at a different different base, um, the catcher will uh, direct the infielders to handle it. And uh, that's how we're going to handle double cuts.